This week's video is on the Vector Typhoon Lightning Rods bike. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything on this, but I have been quietly working away at it. I really wanted it to uh, to be on the road last year, but uh, it's not happened. It's taking a lot longer to do certain things than I expected, and I've made some mistakes. So in a minute, I'm going to go through what's happening with the bike and where I've got to and what I'm currently working on, and hopefully show you guys some neat tricks that you can do when you're making bikes. Um, this bike for people that don't know or are just watching this channel now, this is the Vector Typhoon frame set and the motor is the Lightning Rods Big Block. And this is um, this kit is designed by Mike Backus of Lightning, Lightning Rods, I can't even talk, Mike Backus of Lightning Rods. And it's a dual stage reduction with a belt drive primary and a 219 secondary to the rear so i'm going to go over sort of in categories because that will make it easier to follow the uh the first thing to really talk about uh is the the shock um the the, the rear one and uh what i want to do is change the the rear shock point because right now the steering angle is 33 degrees and i want to kind of bring it in a little bit and if you look at the way the motor is here there's a reasonable gap between the motor and the frame. And that's because this whole frame set was designed to use uh, rear hub motors, and this is a mid-drive kit. So what I wanna do is change the position of this shock, and I can't flip the stock bracket around, it's not gonna work, and it doesn't work at the top, and I could change the suspension out, but I think what I'm gonna do is basically fabricate something for here, and I'm designing a few pieces, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring the swing arm down a bit, it's gonna close the gap, to the frame here between the motor and that in effect is going to bring the steering angle and make it a bit less i'd like less than 30 degrees if possible so i have made this piece here and uh, where's it gone <clears throat> i've made this part here so i'm going to fit that to the bike and you guys can see what the gap looks like so this is the part fixed on temporarily at the moment and this is plastic so I'm not using this but it's just to figure out that I've got the dimensions correct and position it where I want to and if I come down here and we have a look you can see that the motor is now much closer to this which has dropped this down a little bit and it's also brought the uh, the front up here as well a little bit it's brought it in so there's less of a angle on the steering which uh, I'm quite happy about. So I'm going to get that made in the uh, the really strong aluminum. So the 7051 or I don't know, 6061. One of those grades that will do the job. So that part will be made. And then that's the back shock dealt with, which is great. One of the major parts that I need to design for this bike is the mounting system for the back 4000. Um, the one that I've got here, uh, which I've just designed, is actually with the back 2000, but it's just the, the side panels here that I need to make longer to fit a back 4000 or a back 8000. This version is modeled to fit the narrower Corbix 76 style frame. The unit for this bike is just gonna be a little bit wider and it's just gonna fit directly to this part of the frame here. And the way it works is to use M8 bolts and they bolt directly on to the inside panel, which is a, a metal panel, non-structural, running between these members of the frame. Uh, although this mount does use slightly more resources than my normal stuff, and it's a longer print, I think it's worth it to have the controller be a better fit for the overall look of the bike, which is naturally quite angular in shape. I'm gonna make uh, other holes in here to run the wiring, which will all be internally. My own um, Molex plug design is a little bit more flexible, but regular Molex plugs should still work. You just might need to cut a little wider hole in some of the material here. Um, on the front here, uh, this little small hole here is actually for uh, an LED to pop through. And we're actually gonna send uh, a 12 volt spare feed off of the uh, harness here through the front and then we can have a nice logo light up there. Um, not this one in particular. Um, this is just one that goes over there and covers where the uh, where the holes go. Uh, future use for this space as well, we want to use for uh, a logic board 
and that's going to be to control things like the road legal lighting system that we also have in development. Um, on the sides here, I'm using threaded inserts as well, um, which makes it a lot more easy to take this panel on and off. If you needed to have a look at the wiring, um, you could do so with the controller still on the bike here without having to uh, drop the entire thing off to, to do work on it. Um, so yeah. So the, the back wheel here has been um, a bit tricky and it's a problem entirely of my own making um, because I wanted to use this really big wide tire and I was warned that it might not work and I don't think it's it's going to work. Like I can get it to spin and I can get the chain to clear but um, in order to do that um, I have to offset it and that's going to mean redoing the entire of the hub uh, through here. And it's also going to mean then offsetting the brake and messing around with that too. So um, it's a lot of work and I really want to ride the bike like sooner rather than later. So um, what I've done is I've got a thinner tire and I'm going to get it swapped over. So then the drivetrain can get run with the back 4000, which is, I'm looking forward to see that as well because I haven't actually seen this motor thing spin yet. I've seen a few examples of it working but uh, I haven't been able to have mine running with the chain yet. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've been doing a lot of work on how I want the wiring to go. And uh, I think I'm finally figured out exactly what I want and the way to do it. Um, these wires, this is the, uh, the throttle that I want to use for the, uh, the variable regen. I'm figuring have it on the thumb with the front brake on this side. Um, this throttle here, the high go leads are, this one terminates about here, this one's going to terminate about here, and the standard harnesses that you can get with the uh, with the high goes coming out of them, like where do I put it? Like it, it's difficult to do the wiring without a huge mess. So what we've done is we've come up with our own splitter box. This is um, a test piece. Um, it would actually go sit inside here like a circuit board, and that lets us run exactly which connections we want and only the connections we want and it also lets us specify the length of the pigtail for it so I can have it join here like exactly where I want it and then go into the gasket I can have it join here and be exactly the length that I want it and run it through the gasket on this side when the display is on the display cable is probably going to go in there if I use the egg rider because it's a really long cable but basically have the very minimum amount of wiring that's needed to, to be up here um, and I think that's going to give it like a really nice clean look when that's done and then have everything else internally routed and just have the lengths of wire that I need to so there's not a bunch of wires all jumbled around and looking messy I want it to look look really really clean so Mike's done the circuit board for it and as soon as I tell him exactly what lengths I need he's going to finish that off and there'll be a harness coming over that will fit this bike perfectly Right now I'm redoing a lot of the design for the seat and I have a custom seat because ultimately what I want to do with this bike is tow a trailer with a bigger longer range battery in it and go on some super long range rides. Um, so I've got this, um, this towing hitch idea for it and essentially um, I'm going to have this made so I can pull a gooseneck trailer behind the bike using, using a hitch. Um, that'll come later. To start with though, I'm going to get this design finished up so I can actually have something to sit on. Um, I've been making a few uh, a few parts for this. Um, so I've made a new front piece to go up there. And uh, this uh, is the new front piece. And it has a slot here, which is actually for my cell phone holder to clip in. And it'll make sure it's all secure. And this is going to be useful because I can sit my phone in there with backdoor running. I can do data logging. I can change any parameters that I might want to. And later down the road, I mean, it could be navigation. You know, if I've got some music or something, I can do do whatever I want with this really. And there's a little slot here uh, to run up a, a, a charging port as well. Um, so I'll pop that on there and you can see that. So that's kind of the look uh, I'm going for here. Um, this is just some, some test PLA that I used 
This is not the final materials. I'm going to be using the polycarbonate to make any of the plastic parts and uh, I'm going to get the bolts fitted. I need to get a tube that's the right size for this as well and I might eventually need to bring this down um, because it can't obviously go too far up um, when the trailer's there. So I, I need to have enough room here to have that uh, to have that towing attachment on there for the for the gooseneck. So I'm going to finish this off. I know what I'm going to do for the the padded part. So I've got to get the parts for that and make the the seat area so it'll be a little bit more comfortable than than these bars. Although I have sat on them and they're not they're not too bad. Um, also got to get working on the rear lighting cluster for here as well. So there's there's just tons to do on it. But I'm pretty sure with a few key things, I'm going to be able to ride it this year. Definitely. Maybe late spring. Fingers crossed. Um, thanks for watching the channel though. And lots more on this bike. Hopefully with it running. Or at least a test of the motor or, or something. Because it's been too long. And I, I really want to see it run. Alright, thanks again. Cheers.